All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today, we're gonna be checking out the details for the first JP campaign after the worldwide celebration officially ends. So let's pop into the news here and see what's going on. Okay, so here's the campaign. Unfortunately, I don't know what the official name is because I can't read Japanese, but I'm guessing that most of you guys don't care too much about that. So let's uh, start from the very top. We have a login bonus, pretty standard. Some special missions for Dragonstones, Elder Kai's, Hercule statues, orbs, all that good stuff. And the third thing here is the upcoming Dokkan Festival banner for the Fizz Angel Final Form Frieza that transforms into Angel Golden Frieza. And the other unit here that's featured is Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. So these are basically the only two confirmed units that are going to be on the uh, banner that's dropping in, I believe, 12 to 15 hours from the time this video comes out. And from what I can tell, it seems like it's going to be a Tournament of Power themed banner, right? So possibly other featured units are going to be like Fizz 17, um, STR Jiren, Tech Hit, uh, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, and so on and so forth. Obviously, not the most exciting banner if that's the case. I'm hoping they, you know, throw us a curveball and include some other more exciting newer units to like entice people to summon more like uh maybe just throw str cooler in there i mean it would fit the wicked bloodline theme at least so that'd be nice um and maybe yo if they if they want to be really nice they could include the lr super saiyan blue evolution and sspkk right i mean i know they're quite new and i know they're a dokkan fest lr but having them on that banner i think would make it basically a must summon for a lot of people especially because of how broken Frieza himself is, in my opinion, I mean, I'm still going back and forth about this, he's either number one, like top TUR in the game, or number two behind Gohan. I still gotta think about it a little bit, I still gotta test, you know, both these unit, units out a little bit more, but um, he's right up there, he's top two for sure, maybe top one, maybe number one. Anyways, um, we'll see what the banner looks like, obviously at this point in time we don't have any idea aside from these two units, but, you know, the fact that he's here makes it seem like it's most likely Tournament of Power as opposed to Wicked Bloodline Focus, which is what I thought initially, right? So there's the banner. We have a trash category banner here. Um, don't summon, obviously. I always say that about every single category banner. I, f I feel like it's a waste of stones. I know some people pull fire on them because you can pull unfeatured LRs. It's just unlikely and, in my opinion, not really worth it. So. That's that. And we also have a uh, Elder Kai banner. Pretty standard if you guys need Kai's. I mean, you could summon. I still recommend people to not because you can get Kai's through other methods. But if you're really impatient and just need the Kai's right now, then that's obviously an option. And we have some Dragonstone sales. Now, I can't read these either, but I'm guessing since it's a regular celebration, that it's going to be pretty standard Dragonstone sales. So, you know, you're looking at your like. Uh, actually, it's probably different for JP compared to global, but like the 90 stone packs or 30 stone packs with some discounts um, Stuff like that. I'm guessing at least but yeah, probably pretty standard uh, as far as Dragonstone sales go And we have the Dokkan event for the Dokkan Fest Frieza We have it the uh, we have the new story event where we can farm a free-to-play Golden Frieza and Sorbet and this unit is actually very very good um, you know, doing some decent damage, doing some decent tanking, some really good tanking after uh, falling below 50% HP. And uh, I think also stunning enemies too. I gotta check that card again. But I remember when I first saw it, I was like, that's a really solid card. So that's the story event for him. And also we have the return of a few Tournament of Power events right here. One, two, and three. And by the way, this, this stuff is all coming on the fifth. So all, all coming at the same time as the banner itself, which like I said, is coming about in about 14, 15 hours, I think actually, after this video drops. Um, yeah, so all this stuff is on the fifth. And what else do we have? We have a new ultimate clash, and uh, this is the 31st one on JP. I think global is on like 24 or something like that. So yeah, JP is quite you know, a bit ahead as far as these are concerned. And also a new uh, explosive chain battle event slash boss. And this time it's going to be 
a Goku. I'm not really sure what kind of Goku it says. Like, it literally just said Sun Goku here, right? So, I'm thinking maybe it's going to be a base Goku. Or maybe like a Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, something like that. But if they, you know, you know, if it was a Super Saiyan Goku, wouldn't they say Super Saiyan? Maybe not. Maybe they wouldn't. So, either way, it's going to be a Goku. Maybe base form. Maybe some other form. We'll have to see. But uh, that's dropping on the 8th, guys. Okay, so three days after the Frieza banner drops tonight. This is going to come out. And we also have our first traditional Extreme Z Awakening. Our first Extreme Z battle um, in in months, right? That's that's pretty exciting. Like, we should have had this, let's be honest, during the Worldwide Celebration. That would have at least made the whole celebration as a, you know, as a collective, as a whole, much more interesting, much more exciting. But it is what it is. Not much we can do about it now. Int Kid Boo, Extreme Z Awakening, coming on the 13th, okay? No details about what he does yet. I'm guessing that's going to be coming out in about a week or so. Um, a couple days before, you know, the actual Extreme Z area, or Extreme Z battle, sorry, uh, comes out. But uh, yeah, our first Extreme Z, or our first traditional Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I can't wait to see what he does. Uh, hopefully... I mean, here's the thing, I was going to say hopefully they fix some of his key issues, but if you max out Majin, then he already has, you know, some some key links with other boos, uh, or at least the one key link with other boos, and maybe if they wanted to, you know, make it e even easier to get his EZA, then just give him, like, one or two key on his passive as well after the EZA, and it'll be just fine, I think. Um, as far as offense goes, I mean, he doesn't even need that much more attack, because honestly, his, his attack is good. And if you think about it, with his boosted stats after EZ8, this dude's gonna be putting up some numbers, man. He's gonna be, he's gonna be really impressive, um, at least offensively. He does need some more defense, obviously. So I'm guessing they're gonna give him some defense, give him, give him some defense too. Why can't I talk right now? Um, you know, just to make him overall a bit more balanced. But yeah, I can't wait to see what happens. I'm not gonna do a prediction here or anything like that. I'm just gonna. You know, hope that they treat him the same way that they treated Super 17, which is really, really good, right? So uh, that's the EZA coming in the 13th. Um, we're also getting the Dokkan Fest banner for the Extreme Z Awakening, of course. And there's the Kid Boo. There is Fizz Broly. And this is a new event as well. It's called 200% Battle Simulation. And from what I can tell, it's kind of like a time trial thing where if you... Um, you know, beat certain stages or just the one stage uh, in a certain amount of time, then you get rewards, uh, maybe through missions or something like that. I'm not really sure, but uh, not too many details about this event at the moment, but that's what it seems to be. And we'll see what it looks like once, of course, the event actually comes out. Um, after that, we have the token event for Int Kid Boo available every single day during the celebration. We have the return of the Int Raditz Extreme Z Area event. Return of the Saiyan Saga event, the Videl uh, Learns the Fly event, as well as the uh, Raditz story event to, of course, farm the Int Raditz for his Extreme Z Awakening. So, uh, there you have it. Oh, also you need the Nappa from this event to uh, take on the Extreme Z area. He's one of the required units, so make sure you guys farm him out as well. But uh, that is the news update, guys. Hopefully, I didn't mess anything up. When it comes to these JP news updates, I always am a little bit wary because uh, I can't read the text. So sometimes I feel like I'm just like messing up and like saying wrong things. But for the most part, I think I got everything right. I think I got everything right. I did check on DBZ Space as well to like, you know, translate things in English and like kind of get a general idea of like what it's talking about. But um, that is the JP celebration right there. And uh, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, as you guys know, I I am major like mate. I am mostly <laughs> a, a global player, but I still keep tabs on the JP side. I still uh, once in a while, you know, maintain my JP account. So uh, you know, since we've been so starved for content recently, I might just you know play both sides for a bit. Um, yeah, especially if the kid boo EZA turns out to be really good. So there you go, guys. That is today's news update. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, 
hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date. Oh, my alarm got, uh, went off. Okay, we're good. Uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying now. Uh, oh, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.